Hey, Collective. How are you guys doing today, Collective? Let's see what type of energy pulls out. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I welcome you to Pound Star Oracle. Hopefully, I can give you a clear, concise message. <coughs> Destruction. There's a tower moment getting ready, ready to happen. An unexpected change, which will bring a new opportunity. So, I mean, maybe this was like this in the past, or it's getting ready to happen. But we all had to face tower moments, you know. Something unexpected, but we'll get through it, Collective. Oh, it, it must have already happen because balance came out. This is about yin and yang, darkness and light, staying centered in your higher self. So, during all these tower moments, you remain balanced. <laughs> Ain't that something? So during all these tower moments, you still remain balanced. Ain't that, I love that spirit, I, I, and I believe that, because, yeah, I've had to go through a lot of shit. Yeah, look here. Compromise, mutual understanding, flexibility, give and take brings reward. So if you're in a relationship or a partnership, you know how to compromise. And, you know, this is a, I'm pulling on me and my husband's energy right here in this because... I know we've had to lose a lot of things. Uh, we lost a child to suicide, you know what I'm saying? And um, it, That will really mess with a relationship, people. I don't know if you all know it, but you know, you know that we are rare because when you lose a child together, like, you know, to suicide, it's only like 11% chance that you stay married. If even that, it's like 3 to 11%. I'm telling you the truth. And we've learned to get through it, and, and I thank you, God. I, I I really thank God for that. Oh, uh, look, fresh start. This is a new opportunity. Release the past. This is your second chance. So, um, somebody, it um, this is your second chance uh, in this relationship. Um. This is your fresh start. I mean, and if you're not in a relationship, this person that wants to come towards you, this new opportunity, you've learned uh, how to take all this old moldy shit that you had to go through, all your life's lessons, and it and it, it brought about balance in your life. Um, you all have a mutual understanding about how you both need to release this past. Uh, because this is your second chance. I love that spirit. Is it any more of these? Is it any more of these? Oh, you're ascending. I love you, spirit. This is about expansion. You're all evolving together. This is universal intelligence. Stay connected to spirit. So spirit said stay connected to spirit right now. Don't, don't you give up because you're all on ascension process. You're all going back home, baby. You're sending back home, baby. Do -do 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 -do. Let me, uh, what kind of energy, Libra? Huh, Libra balance. Uh, you know, this is about you're very diplomatic and intelligent and social. Libras are all about balance, represented by scales and ruled by Venus. They prefer steady relationships that are full of shared experiences. They take their partnerships to the next level of seriousness and expect the exact same in return. When they don't find a partner to offer the balance and mirroring they seek, they must undergo a great deal of self-discovery to understand who they are so they can attract healthier connections in the future. So, I mean, um, maybe you're using this Libra energy if you're not a Libra uh, to help you, you know, because it's ruled by Venus and you're trying to find a partner who will compromise with you. Ooh, and then we got Mars. Ooh, it could be an Aries. Um, Mars, also known as the warrior planet, is the planet of action and determination. Mars is associated with confidence, courage, 
and ambition in life and governs how we fight with others, how we protect ourselves and those that we care about, our intimate desires and our aggressive and competitive side. It also represents our carnal passion, sexuality, and lust for life. Mars changes signs approximately every one and a half months, except in retrograde. So, you know, you're a damn very intelligent and social diplomatic warrior. You're a warrior. You do things with confidence and courage, and that's how you get through, you know. Oh, Black Moon Lilith. Oh, you got Black Moon Lilith energy helping you, too. It is the geometric point in space where the moon is farthest from Earth in its transit. This point changes signs approximately every nine months. Black Moon Lilith represents wild feminine energy, and understanding its placement in your bar chart will help you better understand your sexuality including repressed fantasies, fetishes, and compulsions. Black Moon Lilith can also shed light on your addictive tendencies when it comes to love, romance, and dating. So, uh, so this, uh, Black Moon Lilith energy, this is, uh, helping you understand your sexual side better during, in this new fresh start. And then we have Venus, and this represents our romantic inclinations and pleasure. It also governs our relationship with money, past, present, and future. And, you know, about living a good, luxurious life. You love tender affections. On a bad day, Venus can become jealous when not giving enough attention. See, you all, you start, um, you, you start at realizing these planets when they are in certain signs and things that maybe it would uh bring out jealousy towards you and your partner maybe you all was having a lot of jealous moments you know what i'm saying and you all had to uh learn to learn about the planets and learn how to uh you know get in line and not do shit like that hang on y'all let me go get something i'll be right back So, somebody needs to look where their black moon Lilith is. It could be in your Mars or your Venus. Are you listening? Or your Libra, you know, it could be uh, saying black moon Lilith. You see what I'm saying? But you need to look in your birth chart. And you can find a birth chart at any reputable site. You just got to, you know, type in free birth chart and that's all you got to do. Let me see what they want to talk about, okay? What's a tarot message, Spirit? Oh, maybe it's him for he feels uh, he's wrapped up in negative thoughts and he's in a self-imposed prison. This emperor, he's put himself in one, I guess, maybe. But he's learning how to balance out himself. So let's see. I saw a Emperor's Angel come out. Ooh, Karma, Wheel of Fortune. Karma. Oh, look. It landed like this. Karma in this. Karma's coming. Hang on a minute. What else is here? Okay. That's why that. Destruction had come out like that. Okay. They're coming in for. Emperor, King of Pentacles, remove burdens. What's the outcome, Spirit? Outcome. 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 
Shit. I know you guys. All that. Balance on the bottom. Temperance. Oh, look, Temperance, Happy Family. So, someone's thinking, somebody knows they're thinking about how they could have a happy family with you. But this is about divine love, you know, and bringing in balance, and you found purpose in your life. And with remembering these childhood memories, it could have been. So what this is saying, no wonder there was a lot of destruction. Uh, maybe um, what that saying is, you know, this is good luck, karma, life cycles, destiny, a turning point. So this is a turning point in your life. Um, this was about an inevitable fate, ups and downs and unpredictable. And it could have been with a Taurus. Um, so you could have had a lot of. Or you could have just had a lot of shit in a marriage. This is a return to the beginning. Only at a higher level in the sp spiral of life. So see, I mean, this had to bring about natural balance. That's why Jupiter come out here. And uh, so this natural balance is coming back. And, you know, this is the energy of the unexpected. You know, and right here in destruction, it says unexpected, a new opportunity. And then... Right here, this, uh, it could have been with a partner since Libra come out, a business partner, okay? And, uh, it was a painful ending. There's a lot of deep wounds and betrayal, loss, crisis, okay? Maybe it's Taurus, um, you knew he was somebody high, he or she was high, somebody high up in the community, or this could be an institution, a tradition, religion, a society. So if a society has come up against you, or somebody that doesn't believe in you or they don't believe in your wisdom or trust don't worry they're they're going to be coming at a they're getting ready to have a painful ending they're getting ready to have a painful ending because they didn't sell away you know uh, they 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 didn't want to transition or change so you left behind and you released this baggage with this person like i said it could have been somebody at uh, you was married with or somebody that was in a cult or something it could be it was somebody somebody that had high honor maybe you worked with this person okay and maybe they did something to you now all right so i don't know but the reason i said that it, it'll show you in a minute this is about um expansion of the idea growth first stages of completion so this was about your your ideas or something, but somebody st stabbed you in the back. I mean, they they wanted you to feel total defeatness, but you said, no, I'm releasing this shit, and you left it. You left it in the past, and that's why that Hierophant come out sideways on Wheel of Fortune, because they're receiving their karma. That's, that's their great payback. And this Mars energy hits coming out, because, you know, this is about your our desires, and about sexuality and our lust for life so maybe you you've ha you got a lust for life of building this enterprise of yours you know you might be receiving an overseas um an overseas job oh god and it's going to cause a lot of damn fights uh you know this is a you know competition rivalry conflict disagreement strife tension uh instability they want it to um they was telling people ideas that you was in stable and and uh and they might have even told told the law things the they was acting act but they was over exerting you in your work they was over exerting you and you moved away from it you moved away from whoever is down emperor is that didn't know how to compromise with a balanced person and i know i'm balanced i got all that libra in me I'm balanced in my masculine and feminine. I can be an asshole man when I need to be. When I need to be a 40, I know how to do that. When I need to be a woman, I know how to do that. And I'm trying to teach you all how to do that, collective. Um, 
This is about respect and leadership, stability, structure, rules, and power, authority. So this person was uh, trying to, uh, they was focusing totally on um, your instability because it said they didn't think you was stable, you know it? So uh, uh, you... Um, Maybe this uh, emperor has a lot of repressed sexual fantasies and fetishes and compulsions. They they might like looking at little girls, uh, not little girls, but young girls play with their cell on the internet. Uh, they're, they're having a problem with that because they have addictive tendencies and they got to realize you can't be an emperor if you're addicted to Sex, drugs, rock and roll, and porn. I mean, you can't. You know, you got to learn how to focus, and I'm trying to teach you that. And uh, whoever this emperor is, um, he knows that you work hard. He sees you working hard, Empress, and he knows that you're his wish come true. Uh, he wants to be content with you. He feels satisfied, and he feels he's he's emotionally stable. So, I mean, if you're wondering if this emperor loves you, whoever come to my channel today, you're all going to have a fresh start. Yes. He wants to give you a life of luxury. Did you hear that? Ooh, this emperor wants to give you a life of luxury now. And uh, he could be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. He, um, this is about your business and you showing leadership. You're, you're, you're making yourself a stable life. Maybe you have a King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I do. And, uh, you know, he's been very generous. He's wanting to be very generous with you in, in your all's marriage. Uh, he knows that you all formed this sort of completeness. You know, your foundation is stable. You all celebrate, and you're happy in your marriage and home life and community. This is about homecoming. Oh, Wow. Wish fulfillment want to be coming to you because you had to remove all these burdens that wasn't yours to pack. You had to, you had to, uh, you had a lot of extra responsibilities, you know, and you kept working hard and hard and you completed out this cycle with this man, with this man or woman, you know, and, uh, you know, you released all these burdens from the past and the present. You're you're moving towards your future. You're you're moving all these burdens, so you can ascend towards your good future. You know, and maybe you found your twin flame, and you're you're all trying to ascend back to heaven. And I love you guys. You know it because I have them cards on twin flame since I like them. This was about a challenge and competition. So you re you you. Your work is protected, okay? Your work is protected, and um, you you had to regain control um, over your life and over yourself, and you had to master yourself and do this responsibly. This is about a myth or secrets choices. See, you had to remove this choice. You had to remove this one choice that wasn't for you, okay? And like I said, this it sounds right about me at my old job. You know what? That's why, that's why this come out first. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune and higher font. So people comes on here and thinks I'm saying this to people in the tarot community. No, I've been saying this for a long time because it's somebody that I worked with. Okay, so I'm just letting you guys know. But the angels helped me to become this. Me and my family, and I'm so grateful of it. I'm so thankful of it. I'm thankful of this, God. All these memories of past love and his family, it's brought balance to your life of remembering this tradition. Okay? All right, now that's for somebody. And I got some new cards for us. Let's see what comes out of these. Spirit, can you tell us something that comes out of these? This is a new deck for my collective. I love your collective. Did you know how much? And I love my husband. He buys my cards and I appreciate him. Oh, rock the boat. Make waves. Challenge the status quo. This is what you did. You, you challenged the status quo and it pissed off these people in this group. <laughs> No, uh, 
It said, uh, stand up for yourself. You did. See, you stood up for yourself. And you said, motherfuckers, y'all ain't gonna bully me around anymore and make me do all this extra damn work that's making you do all the extra work and going around telling lies. That's what this means. Lies. They didn't understand that I'm balanced and I can, I can, I, I can work in tower moments. You know, they're dumb. They didn't realize all the shit I'd lived through. So anyways, you challenging the status quo has helped you. And uh, what it's saying is, here, let me hang, put my phone on charge. 